Here we are on my iPhone. There's also an app for Android. Here we're gonna tap Flight Radar 24. So we come in here, we're gonna see the map similar to what we saw on the desktop. The features are almost the same, but again, much easier for when you're using this on mobile. Plus that ad additional cool feature, the AR there up in the upper left, which I will show you in just a minute. Let's go over some of the basics of here. Obviously, since it's on your mobile, it's pinch and zoom to get into a particular area. Zoom out here, you got North America. As I mentioned before, uh, you can see the shading there representing the, the uh, transition from day to night. And you can turn that feature off in settings. So again, just like on desktop, if we zoom in, in a particular area, tap on, let's say an airport. It will show us the airport at the bottom. Just, just tap on, just slide that up. You'll see the airport there at the bottom. You can tap on general and it'll give you general information about this airport, the Ontario Municipal Airport. Conditions, the temperature, just like on the desktop, you can get some more information about the weather there. Runway details shows you a picture of the runway, the, the length of it, what it's made out of. Again, we're going to have ads in here because of this being the free version. Tap down here on arrivals. It will show you the arrivals here. Uh, today, this is a smaller airport, so there aren't really arrivals or departure. Shows you what's on the ground. Uh, some of these features are for premium. Okay, let's tap out of that. We could go to a larger airport here. We go to, if we go to SeaTac Airport, get some general information, 37 degrees, the average delay, disruption index, just like on desktop. The number of departures over the next 60, <laughs> or over the next seven days, 38 100 departures, busiest route is between here and Portland, the 198 flights over seven days. Again, runway details if you're interested in that. Let's look at the arrivals. This will show us the arrivals for today. Uh, just a really easy way to scroll through to see these. Departures, same idea. You can scroll through to see the departures that are happening and tap in to see more information about each departure. So a lot of great information at your fingertips. You can see flight info about this particular route. You can also see aircraft info about this plane that will be servicing it. You can even add an alert. But again, you're gonna need the premium version to do that. Here it shows the planes that are on the ground an, an interesting feature that you may not necessarily get in other flight tracking apps. Okay, so here you can actually see a plane taking off in real time. You can see some other plane, another plane taking off from the shorter runway over here on the left. You can see these other planes taxiing. A fantastic way to follow someone who is leaving or who's coming in to see you just to find out where they are so you know when to pick them up or whether they got off okay. If I tap on that, it'll show me. So it's Seattle to LAX or Los Angeles. You'll see their altitude climbing as they take off. You could see the route here. We zoom out. It will show us the route of this flight there, you can see where it goes over, over parts of Oregon, California, Nevada. We can choose to follow it. Then what it'll do, the screen, the background will just follow this flight as it progresses down to California. Okay, this is a cool feature here, is the 3D view. Now with the basic, you only get four different sessions to see this 3D view, and I've already used one already, or I've already used two. 
But with the premium version, you get an unlimited number of 3D sessions. So here we can see the terrain that they're flying over in real time. You can slide, if you slide your finger here, you can get different vantage points, even looking straight up into space or straight up, straight down at the ground to see what exactly this flight is, is flying over. So that's the airplane icon here. If I tap on the control icon, we will get a pilot view of what's happening on this flight. And again, you can, as you scroll around, you can see different flights here that are in their area. There's a settings button, whether or not you wanna show shadows, airports, labels and trails, and then the quality of the, the 3D view. So just an amazing way to find, to follow these flights and to get the same experience as people on board by being able to see the different terrain as it goes by. Now it is blurred, so um, that's one thing that's a little different with it. I'm pinching and zooming, and I can actually come closer to the to the aircraft, which which is a cool feature. Or I can pinch out, and it becomes smaller. And again, zooming zooming around with this feature. Okay, let's get out of that. Okay, so we're back out here in a view of North America. Obviously, we can go anywhere we want in the world with viewing flights. If we wanted to go over to Europe and Africa, it will populate all the flights and airports over here. We can zoom in to see what's going on over here. Now, the, the menu down below, you, we have settings. And again, just like on the desktop, we have uh, map type, standard satellite, hybrid, aircraft labels. We can actually add a logo so you can see what airline they're with, map brightness to adjust and darken and up above you can see how that affects. The day night line, you can turn that off if you don't want that impeding your view. Here, ATC boundaries, if you wanna change that, you need the premium version as well as oceanic tracks. Aeronautical charts are, are all locked as well. You can turn off the airport pins here so you don't have to see those. And then you can turn off showing your location, which I've turned off if you don't want that seen on the map. Now, uh, you can check out more of the weather details, but the only one that's really available to us in the free version is the volcanic eruption area. Everything else you need premium to see. Alerts, you can set up different types of alerts related to radio failure, general emergency, Go into notification settings, you can get different sounds for your alerts. And then click the More tab here. You, you have some different um, portals that you can interact here, including a share feature for sharing what you're seeing. So that's the, the basic version, basic overview of the Flight Radar 24 app. Let me show you that amazing feature that I promised you in uh, and what you can do with this. Okay, this feature enables the use of your camera in order to find out what's going on around you. So I mentioned that AR in the upper left-hand part of your screen. When you initially tap that, it'll ask you to get permission to access your camera. I'm outside. Let me tap this and I can actually hear planes flying around me. And as you pan around, it will show you what flights. Let me see if I can actually find this plane that's right above me. There it is. I don't know if you can, it's actually following this plane that's going right over my house and it labels it exactly what it is. So if you've seen those apps where, you know, you can track, um, you know, constellations or stars or planets, there are some planes over below the horizon or on the horizon. So a pretty cool way to find out what's in the air around you. I think this is one of the coolest features I've seen in an app in a long time. 
Now you can see how populated this area is because this is route to the airport here in the Seattle area. So a lot of, a lot of things going on here. So I appreciate you watching this. This, hopefully this has been helpful for you in discovering more about how to track flights. Again, be sure to subscribe to my channel, The Handy Hudson Knight, for more tips, hacks, and reviews so that you can get the job done. Don't forget the notification bell so that you can get my content as it goes up. And I will look forward to seeing you in the next video.